Shulka is getting $442 million from the Adani Group. This will fund the building of two wind power plants in Manal and Bugari. The good news is that it will add a considerable amount of power to the national grid. But a lot of people are against it. And it's because of the Adani Group. India's second largest conglomerate operates in a wide range of businesses in 50 countries. But the group has been accused of environmental pollution and corruption over the years. Gautam Adani has dropped from being one of the top five richest men to the 29th after being accused of pulling the largest con in corporate history. Adani has been accused of stock manipulation and accounting fraud worth $218 billion. Despite these allegations, it seems that Sri Lanka might be going ahead with the Adani investment. Why? Because we need more energy investments. Right now, Sri Lanka barely has any renewable energy plants. Less than 40% of our energy comes from renewable sources. The rest comes from coal and thermal power plants. So, adding more sustainable projects like the wind plants means we can reduce our dependence on fossil fuel power. Should Sri Lanka back out of this deal? Or should we go ahead with it anyway?